Are you going to sleep now? Seriously? Are you just going to let that guy lie out in the open? Really? I mean, uh... Is this guy, like, dying in the meanwhile, or...? All right, everybody. Hello, and welcome back, finally, to another episode on Going Medieval with me, Spacefish. Uh, first and foremost, there has been, unfortunately, a bit of a break between last episode and this one, because I was actually off with COVID, and, uh, well, more or less recovered now, but still a bit dizzy, so... If today's episode I do feel a little more absent than usual, you guys know why that is the case. But in any case, hopefully it should be quite, quite fun nonetheless. We left off here in the last episode with a little bit of an unconscious Edward. Um, we, we had the bright idea to send him out to hunt a meanie wolf that was kind of running around just eating our pies that were accidentally laying out in the open and then... Uh, well, he kind of got knocked out because we only sent him and then this we sent the other guys and they successfully murdered the wolf. But now we have an unconscious settler and I've got no clue in the world what to do. So, um, not the best of situations, I would argue, but we will have to manage. And, uh, hopefully we will somehow be able to get him, uh, taken care of and we'll be able to get some wounds tended and stuff. I've got, to be honest, no clue whose job it was to be tending wounds, so we may have to prioritize that. And then, we do still have this here going on. There is a little bit of a, you know, um, extra storage that we had created because we, uh, had come to discover that some of our materials here, you know, were decomposing out in the open, which... I mean, to be honest, it does make sense, especially with, like, rain and all. So, uh, we need to go and finish off this little storage area and uh, make sure to, you know, put a wall around it, get a little roof on top of it, stuff like that. But, um, that will probably only come when we're done with the settler. And also, I have just now noticed that this thing actually does need some resizing, because this here is where the walls are evidently supposed to go, so we do need to... Go and size that down a little bit, and then they will hopefully be moving things around. But yeah, so um, that is the plan to take care of next. First and foremost, though, I'll have a little bit of a look at Edward, and then we'll go from there. Before we get going, though, if you're new around here, if you do happen to enjoy this very episode, please make sure to go ahead and smash that subscribe button right down below. It would be an absolute dream, and I would really appreciate it a ton. Um, yeah, helps out a lot and I'm joining you 1,000 subs. With that out of the way, though, um, let's first and foremost, before we get time going, have a little look at the wound tending thingy, whatever it may actually be. There we go. Okay, so it is Gerald that should take care of this. Uh, in fact, though, I think the two of them are still rallied, so we need to probably unrally them. How I do that, though, I have got no clue. Um, now they're drafted. How do I undraft them? Ah, no, wait, this is undrafting, right? Their weapons are gone. Yes, okay, so you just draft them again, and then they're kind of undrafted. Now, uh, would someone just, you know, uh, 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 like, mind picking that guy up? In fact, we can just prioritize that a little more real quick for Gerald. Make sure he's, uh... No, you're just gonna leave him lying out there? Friggin' hell, man. What do we do with this guy now? Banish, no. Uh... Not entirely sure. Are they gonna pick him up now? Oh! Aha! So, as you can see, they can still somehow walk through their own barriers. I do hope that that is not the case for enemies, but, um... Well, at least it does slow people down, so it's better than nothing, I suppose. Now, what in the world are you doing now? Um... I guess they're eating or something? What's Gerald doing? I don't know. Are you going to sleep now? Seriously? Are you just gonna let that guy lie out in the open? Really? I mean, uh... Is this guy, like, dying in the meanwhile, or...? What in the world? 
quite sure that's not how that was supposed to work. Could somebody please take care of the dying settler or... Oh. He just kind of got up himself. And now he's like, oh yeah, you know, he's sleeping apparently. Oh my god, he does really not look good. He'll look at all that blood he's losing, Jesus Christ. I hope that he's going to get taken care of soon. In fact, do we have medicine still? Uh, I hope so. <laughs> Would be quite terrible if we don't. Because I've also got no clue how to even produce half of this stuff, so you know. Uh-oh. Herbs. Oh no, healing kits. So we do have some some way to heal that guy. But we probably need to discover how to heal him further, right? And I've currently got no clue. At least he's, you know, carrying himself back to the proper bed now. Um, but now I guess they're going to sleep through the night first before anything else is going to happen. He does seem to be recovering a little bit. Well, no, he's like recovering and then stops. So uh, like, I think he's recovering but then bleeding out so that's probably what the issue is going to be here but i do hope that once they wake up here in a second you know uh, and they're freaking done eating because you know why not just eat first when the other guy's bleeding to death but i hope that once they're done you know gerald is actually going to go pick up a healing kit and make sure that the bleeding goes away for edward and then uh slowly but surely he should hopefully be recovering i I, I, I will just kind of assume, you know, um, Gerald, you're going to take care of him now, please. What did he just pick up now? Did he pick up more food? Uh, I'm not sure about that. He just, he just freaking stop playing around. <laughs> Can somebody actually do something here? Work. Get, get, get Edward healed, please. Like, Jesus Christ. Man's bleeding out, and you guys are flicking, flipping just plain begammon. Right, and now he's praying, of course. Can we tend the wounds before we chill? I know you guys all want to relax a little bit, but, like, now Edward is playing begammon with himself. And now Gerald is just doing other stuff. Didn't we just prioritize it to the max for him to heal? Yeah. Does he really not have the stuff needed? Because, I mean, this is left to right. So, technically, the harvesting should come after the tending. Can I just make him do it? <sighs> I don't like this. I'm kind of a bit worried that his wounds won't get tended to. I mean, I've got, like, no idea here. I don't think I can make anyone heal him. Directly. Bitten arm. Minor. So, I mean, luckily, you know, that's probably why he's also not dead yet. Because, you know, his blood loss rate is minimal. But you can see also here that, you know, he is losing blood. If it reaches 0%, the settler will die. Which makes sense. And pain's going down. But, I mean, he's not been healed yet. So, I'm not quite sure what that's supposed to be here. Oh. Gerald is coming back, yes? No, he's just, he's just, you know, just, just, like, planting away at flax, I guess. Jesus Christ, man. Can you take care of Edward? He's just writing happily. I don't really know, like, am I doing something wrong here? Because, I mean, there must surely be a way to force these guys to heal each other, right? Like, we do have the healing kit still, so, in my mind... Oh, it compo decomposes in a day as well. Jesus Christ. Oh! 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 No. What is that? Not enough resources! Oh no, we're out of wood. Well, that does not help our efforts whatsoever, I have to say. We will have to schedule some more trees to be cut down here urgently. To make sure we get some more wood coming in. And uh, hopefully then, you know, that's uh, going to provide the necessary resources because we urgently actually need to be build, like, walls around this stuff. You know, and make sure to also haul everything over. And a day and 11 hours is absolutely nothing. Like, we need to get the trees cut down. We need to get the wood over. We need to... I mean, oof. Um, Edward, on the other hand side, he's currently writing. I mean, he seems to be doing fine somehow. Um... Animal husbandry and cooking are his priorities, and then research. But I think what we're going to do for a second is we're just going to deprioritize research a tad bit. 
And we're going to go to cut plants, I guess. Chopping trees, yeah. Going to go prioritize um, chopping down trees for him for a sec. So, you know, that's, he helps out here a little bit. Getting all the necessary wood coming in. No, he's just going to eat instead. Don't mind him. He's not getting healed at all, is he? Oh, what in the world am I going to do with this guy? I mean, he's, he's gaining health somehow, but his blood levels are still dropping. And nobody feels like healing him. Gerald's just like, ah, sod it, I'm drinking. I don't need to be uh, tending the wounds of him. Like, maybe it's only when they hit the hay or something that the, the wounds get tended to. So, like, it'll happen this evening or something. I've got no clue. <clears throat> I've got no idea in the world. But we're cutting down some more trees, which is nice. We do have the wood together now. Um, the issue is this pile now decomposes in 19 hours. I have got a feeling that all our medicine is going to get bossed before it's even going to get used. Which, um, truth be told, is uh, quite the worry there right there. Because, um, well, I mean, honestly, it's, we, we, we really kind of need this stuff. Like, badly. So, um... Hmm. I, I've got no way of making more. So if we lose that medicine now, I mean, uh, that's it. <laughs> that's all we ever going to get. Um, we're going to go build a thatched roof on top of this here quickly. Oh, in fact, apparently we're not. Uh, just yet. Maybe we can just get a beam going here and then it should be fine. I think. And, uh... Then, you know, we have that little separate storage area here ready to go. And we will also deconstruct this. We did get carcasses and food out of there. And then we need to go... We need to somehow get... We need to lower harvesting priority and we need to raise hauling priority for this guy. So he starts moving all the stuff over. And once this guy is uh, done with building, he, we will also ask him to move stuff over. In the meanwhile, you know, still have got trees cut down, so the wood should be attainable uh, for the guys, I hope. And, uh... Ah! <laughs> I, I was thinking this was scheduled, but in fact it just scheduled it on the corners and then... Uh... No, no, no! Stop! Can we still squeeze this in here? Yes, we can. Okay, so there we go. That's the actual plan. Please go build it. Is, is my builder actually got a higher priority for hauling than he's got for constructing? No, he doesn't. So he's still building away. That's good. He was just getting resources, I guess. Ah, Jesus Christ. Research is available. That's all good and beautiful, but we need to kind of wait a little bit. Edward is regaining health, but his blood level is like, uh, ooh, um, uh, worrying. Quite, quite worrying indeed, so I'm not sure I really do like this here. Uh, the walls are about to be ready. Where's my medicine at? 16 hours. The, the thing is, you know, why I'm really starting to get anxious, these guys are going to sleep soon. So, like, I'm not sure the medicine is going to last the night. Where is it? Oh, okay, so it is at least in the house there now. Well, in the storage thingy there now, right? We just need the roof to be completed before everyone goes to bed, I guess. Which, um, well, maybe become a bit of an issue. I mean, there's, there's a lot still scheduled there. Well, oh, no, don't go eat now. You need to finish the roof. Oh, no, that's not you. Gerald needs to finish. Someone needs to finish the freaking hell. Well, roof's not being finished tonight, boys. We may have a little bit of an issue coming up here. Um... Is somebody at least slowly but surely... No, nobody's tending Edward's wounds. Like, but why would we? How can I get people to tend to the wounds? I mean... I'm really worried about this. He's like, he continues losing blood. At some point, he's just going to die. Why are the wounds not being tended to? Why is there ash piles here? Hmm, weird. Okay, so I mean, it's night time, everyone's sleeping and everything, so, um... Well, the... Okay, so the pile is decomposing a little slower, luckily. Which I guess is due to the short break in terms of rain here. Now rain's coming back, but that at least gained us a little bit of time during the night. I am hoping that, generally speaking, it should be fine. 
Is the wolf eating mushrooms? The wolf just ate mushrooms. What in the world? I do have to say I'm wondering if we picked up that carcass of whatever wolf we killed. But um, oh, no clue, to be honest. Construction failed. That's nice. So, uh, the roof is coming together, which is good, good stuff indeed. Um, that should mean that hopefully our medical supplies are just about going to be safe. Oh, decaying because of temperature? Wait, so the medical supplies need to be moved to the basement, is what you're trying to tell me. Oh, I could just hide the roof elements. Didn't know that. Um, hmm. Temperature unroofed. Temperature. Maybe it's just because the roof is not finished yet. Let's let's kind of wait for the roof to be complete before we do assume that it's a temperature thingy. Okay, so I mean the decomposing time did get lengthened, but um. Well, weirdly enough, I mean, all of this stuff is decomposing due to temperature, I suppose. No, this not. Okay, the question being then, which stuff is temperature sensitive? Apparently the saplings are. And the herbs. Bone pile. Why do we have a bone pile? What are we looking to do with that, I wonder? Okay, so in any case, I mean, we do need to fix the prioritization of people again now. Um, this guy was on three for hauling and I guess one for harvest? I think. I hope. Um... This lad was on research? And we did raise the cutting, I think. The cutting of plants. So, somewhere like that, I think. And then Edgar. We didn't change anything for Edgar, did we? He was our... Wait, was he our building guy? Who was our building guy? Uh, construct. Yes, he's our building guy. Okay, so I think that's that's fine. The only thing that I'm still worried about is Edgar just bleeding out. Edward rather just bleeding out. Must rest or sleep for wounds to be treated. Yeah, but what do we do if they all sleep at the same time? Like, okay, so I mean, I get why it's not being treated, but how? How do we make him, sl like, rest and... I don't know. Ah, there were schedules and stuff, right? Schedule. Sleep. Do we just change a schedule to be, like, sleeping from 9 to 12 or something? And then we kind of, you know, make it an anything thing again later? We'll try that. Hey, mate, you're supposed to be sleeping. Get to bed. Oh, yes, he's going to bed. Okay. Okay, come on, keep sleeping. Somebody tend his wings now, please. Oh, yes! Ah, ha, ha! Okay, so, um, <clears throat> I guess that's... Apologies, my voice is a little... <clears throat> yeah, getting a little funky. Still the aftermath of COVID. But, um, well, apparently, I guess, that that's how you get them to rest. And then when they lay in bed, you know, they get tender too. And then, um... Well, there we go. So, his wounds are tender too. He's healing. And I guess that should mean that slowly, slowly, but surely, yeah, his blood levels are going to be going up. It was going to take a while, but at least he's been taken care of. Jesus Christ, that was uh, worrying, but at least we do now have an idea of how that is supposed to work, I suppose. Now, a bunch of trees have been planted, um, which is great. We do still have the topic, though, of we need to kind of... Um, take the saplings and we need to also take the healing kits and probably put them into the basement I guess so um, I guess it would be all seeds right that, that do decompose so the seeds I would take out of here and then for the medicine um, 
not the herbs have the same thing as well, and I guess all the other healing kits have it too. So, um, we're gonna go put the medicine and, uh seeds into the basement for the time being if this is a bad move if you do want a separate room or something please let me know down below in the comments i mean technically speaking to be honest what we could be doing what we will probably be doing is just expanding the basement as well and then having a medicine room and a food room because i mean if you look at this we do already have quite a bunch of food down there so uh do you need to make sure to cover that but okay so that's that and I guess that's fine. Now, we did have that little pop-up of, like, research available or something. So, I am quite intrigued by that. As you can see, we do have 37 Chronicles available thanks to all the research we've been doing. Um, so, you know, we could be looking into some of those stuff, which would be quite cool. I would still like some medicine, but I've got no clue how to make it, where to find it, how to do it. So, um... That's a good question. In fact, uh, let me place a quick cut. I'll be right back. I'll just research that real quick. All right, back I am. So a uh, little quick look at the go going medieval. I was going to say good company. Slightly off there. A uh, little quick look at the going medieval wiki has unveiled that apparently we need chemistry uh, to be able to make these things. Uh, as you can see, that'll unlock the apothecary bench. And that's a work by, uh, station for transforming natural ingredients into cures. So that's something we probably want. I mean, the one thing that I'm not quite sure about, I mean, we do have herbs as well. And we do, in fact, have herb seeds too. So we probably do want to make sure to get some herbs out there. Because technically speaking, I think the herbs can be used as medicine too. Albeit probably by far not as efficient as a proper healing kit. But, you know, um, we do probably want to make sure to get these seeds out there. And then, you know, all the other saplings that we've now newly generated knocking down trees. We do probably want to, run, want to rather quickly um, get them into the ground as well to get some new trees coming in. But uh, chemistry is going to be important. And for chemistry, we're going to need preserving food. Which is going to get us a smokehouse, a building to hang meat and cure it with smoke from an open fire. That's quite cool. And it's going to get us shelves. Oh, yeah, so, I mean, that's quite helpful, definitely. I mean, it eliminates ground decay, which we're not really dealing with, because we've, you know, built a proper basement, we've built proper floors, so, I mean, our food is kind of not decomposing. But having a shelf where we can just stack the food upon each other, of course, widely efficient. Wildly, widely efficient in order to go and save some space down there. So I'm quite happy to go get that. I would say we're going to go unlock that, and then um, well, we're definitely going to need cooking next. So we can go to chemistry, which is going to need 30 chronicles, which shouldn't be taking too long, I suppose. And, uh, well, then it's like 30 chronicles for that. Oh, in fact, this is going to be textbooks and theses as well, which is going to make things a little harder for us. We're going to have to find out how to get those. I guess we will need to advance in the research tree for that as well. If we go here, then we have the research table, and then I guess we can make the textbooks, and then we've got research three, which I suppose, then we have textbooks and this, and then we need to get... The so yeah, it's, it's going to be a bit of a journey getting to chemistry for the time being. I guess we've got a few healing kits remaining, and post that point, we'll just need to use herbs. So we're going to have to make sure to get some of those into the ground for the time being. And then, well, we're eventually going to get a stove, which is going to be quite nice because we can actually, um, you know, properly cook and just roast over the open fire. Um, lavish meal. So, quite fancy, I would say. So, yeah, hopefully, hopefully that's going to help out. And then eventually, I guess something like this would be quite helpful to have too, right? A smelting furnace and then being able to get, like, steel and blacksmithing and some weapons and stuff to go and defend ourselves because, I, I mean, that's eventually, unfortunately, going to be coming our way. So, we probably better be prepared for that but in any case so we've got that research out of the way i mean the research is going to continue now i would like to have a quick peek at um well, i mean i would honestly like to go and get a smokehouse going i am supposing that that is going to be out in the open um but we would want to probably have that um oops wrong button we would probably want to have that rather close to this house because, of course, we do have our food storage down below. So I would go and place that right here. Uh, clay we need for that, which I am not sure we have that yet, to be honest. Maybe we need to go dig some up. Oh, no, we do have 102, so should be covered for the time being. Alternatively, you know, lots of clay right here. And in fact, there's a lot of clay still to be collected, so that is quite nice. As a little side note, these berry bushes are definitely, definitely good to go. Reserved by rat. Huh. 
I don't quite know what that means. Has the rat got a little reservation somewhere on the nose or something? Interesting. Interesting. Well, yeah, so, um, <clears throat> let us go ahead. And first and foremost, we need to go get some zones down, I would say. We're going to go and get a little bit of a herb field going. We've got four seeds. So, oh, in fact, no, we have sown those out. Okay. Did forget about that. So the the herbs have been scheduled. But we do have the birch saplings, the oak, oak saplings, the maple saplings. How much? Do we still have anything down here? No, we don't. So that's all planted. So we're going to go get a birch tree here and here and here. And then we've got nine oak saplings. So we're going to go to oaks. Going to go one, two, three, four. Oopsies. Ah, it's always annoying when that happens. Four. Right. Um, five. No. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. No, that's wrong. One too many. Uh, boop. And then we go and actually, you know, condense that zone down to one. So there's our oak trees, I said, right? Yeah. And now we need to go for maples. So we're going to go get those out there too. A one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And that's all the maple saplings out then too. And then we've got like two bajillion trees planted. I mean, these are going to take some time to grow. Um, up Apparently, like 13 days here. I'm not even seeing it properly for the birch tree somehow. Lifespan for the birch tree. But no growth time and then... Hmm. I don't know. So for one tree I saw it just then. For others I'm not seeing it. But yeah, so you have 13, 14 days, something like that. So it's going to take some time and in the meanwhile I'm probably going to knock down some more forest and then you know replant even more but we do need to make sure to keep the cycle going because I can imagine we're going to quite quick, quickly be through a lot of trees and then you know we need to somehow make sure things are going so uh, that's nice that's beautiful now we do have these fancy new shelves and I would actually in fact really like to try those out um, maybe we just plunk down a few right here it does actually in fact take a lot of wood oh Jesus Christ Okay, I would say that that's more than enough for the time being. Um, but, you know, that's going to allow us to stack some stuff into there. And then on the side, what I would actually really like to do is I would like to go ahead and start excavating right here a little basement for us. The issue being, though, if we do excavate a basement below the storage area, we may into run into structural issues here. Because, of course, you know, that it, we do need some beams to be placed in order to maintain the structural integrity of the whole thing above. So I'll schedule it like this, then maybe pull a beam through here, then go like two further, pull another beam through there, you know. Just slowly but surely trying to make sure not to knock anything down that we kind of still want. And uh, then we go from there. What is this? I'm intrigued. Is that a cave? Or are we just kind of looking into some ground? I guess we're just looking into ground. So Gerald, you know, just doing his little thing and, uh, oh, you know, Edward's researching away. What we do need to have a quick look at, I guess, would be the prioritizations. Where are we at with mining? Okay, so Gerald should be taking care of that, but he does have a higher priority on uh, harvesting and... Well, growing in fact, so it is going to take a while, but I would say it's not the utmost priority for us to get this through just now. We'll just uh, instead, you know, be, be speeding through things, getting things done, and he'll get to it eventually. You know, not too bothered with it right now. I think it's more important to get those tree saplings out there, make sure we get these trees into the ground, and then we pretty much go from there, right? Oh, no! the goats have given birth. Well, the, the, goat, the one goat has given birth to two other goats. That is sick. Now we've got four goats. Oh, that is great news, isn't it? I'm so happy about that. We've got some little baby goaties. That is beautiful, isn't it? So, yeah, now we've got four goats. Quite, quite happy to hear that. Getting some milk out of them and everything. And we should still have 
yeah, some very nicely filled trays, so that's quite beautiful. So the house has been expanded. We do have a little bit of storage going on, and Edward has been saved as well, so quite, quite happy about that. Um... I would say for today, but it's a good point to end it off right here. We're going to continue planting these trees in the next episode. We're going to continue excavating this stuff for a little room for like medicine and all that we can store down below so it doesn't decay either. We'll get those shelves going that we've got scheduled down below. And then we'll kind of go from there. We need to see what we do want to do next. I mean, we have this little um, smokehouse here. So, you know, maybe get some cooking going on the side as well. Get some food ready. We'll have a little look at our, um, well, at the amount of stuff that we have in the next episode. Making sure that all the food is ready and whatever. Um, but that's the plan for the time being. And then I would say we, we will slowly just go through things. The research should be progressing along uh, further nicely. You know, another day or two till we get cooking. So I'll kind of just bank on the research, getting some important things going. And then we'll go from there and hopefully keep expanding our little village further and further. And uh, also making sure to get our, um, well, defense somehow going because there's going to become more more villagers coming and they're definitely going to bring some trouble with them so that's definitely going to end up being quite interesting i can imagine for today though i would say we end this episode off right here i hope you all very much enjoyed it of course if you did please make sure to go ahead and smash that like button right down below for the youtube algorithm and if you're new around here and haven't done so just yet, also please consider subscribing right down below as well as hitting that bell icon in order to stay up to date on all the future upcoming episodes. With all those things out of the way though, as usual everybody, thank you so much for watching and I hope I'll catch you in the next episode very, very soon. Ciao.